What's going on, everybody? Back for the next game in my NHL 20 season. That's right. I'm gone absolutely insane with the NHL 20 games. I just want to try to get through it. I want to try to get it all done. Um, I guess that's the best way to put it at this point. I just want to get through it, get to the playoffs, and see how I do. I'm just so anxious. I don't want to wait anymore. I just want to keep going with it and just try to get there it's just in the back of my mind I, I, I gotta get there I gotta get it done plus you know there's there's other games that I want to play as well um, you know I started Last of Us 2 I picked it up on launch day and uh, I really want to get back into that but I, I said well let's try to finish up the NHL 20 first before I start oh I love that jersey that is absolutely beautiful let's go with that all right, let's start the game. So I had an absolute blowout the last game against the LA Kings, and it's just so strange, you know. I reflect back to those two games. I mean, I mentioned it in that game too. I reflect back to those two games against the Toronto Maple Leafs and how insanely difficult those games were. And then that game against LA, for a while, it seemed as if everything I was shooting on net was going in against uh, Toronto. I couldn't buy a goal. It was just absolute craziness how everything just shifted and flipped on its head uh, for that particular game against the LA Kings. Um, so we'll see what happens in this one. Uh, hopefully that's not how it goes from here on out. Oh, Crosby was denied by Lindholm there. Great defensive play. Ooh, Crosby was right in front. And Lindholm with a really, really nice defensive play there on Crosby. Up to Zucker. Oh, my goodness. Zucker got hammered, and I didn't even realize I had the puck there, and I accidentally shot it in by Crosby and iced the puck. Oh, man. Zucker got absolutely smoked and lit up there. I got to get more comfortable here. We got to get into this. Whew. All right, let's go. Where was the penalty there? Zucker didn't touch the puck yet, did he? Man, that was a huge hit. Oof, that's one of the biggest hits I've seen since I've uh, made the adjustment to pro. Ooh, for a second there, I thought that might have deflected off one of my guys and might have ended up in the back of my net. Oh, I try to use defenseman as a screen. Suddenly, Lindholm is a brick wall here defensively for the Anaheim Ducks. I'm going to have to try to curve that. Come on, Raquel. Yeah, it's offside, Raquel. Another one of those more underrated guys in the, in the NHL. I love Ricard Raquel. Come on, come on, come on. Drop the puck, drop the puck. Sometimes it seems like the linesman takes forever to drop the puck. Maybe that's just me. But to me, it seems like sometimes it takes forever. Oh, and again, blocked by the defense. Tried to tried to shoot it. Blocked, blocked, blocked. Oh, Rust. Oh, Malkin, Malkin, Malkin. Malkin's got it. Malkin's got it. And he lost it. Way to go, Malkin. You lost it. Oh, yeah, look out. Oh, 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 oh. I don't like how this is going. All right, come on. Back up. I, do I even have a shot on goal? There. I just want a shot on goal. I got one. Woo. My first shot on goal. <laughs> it was actually, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, that was my first shot on goal because everything else I was shooting was blocked. Absolutely blocked. Come on. Oh, for a second, I thought that was going to be offside. Oh, the shot. Gibson says no. Man, those Ducks jerseys are beautiful. I would love... Yeah, Crosby retook the team lead in points with two goals in that last game against the LA Kings. So him and Malkin are dueling it out for the team lead, although it doesn't really matter. As long as you get into the playoffs. Oh, it makes some noise. That's all that matters. Oh, up, 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 up. There we go. Everybody tagged up. Oh, Tanev. Tanev's over. Oh, I tried to get it over to Sherry. But again, great defensive play. The Ducks are playing a lot better. De oh, jeez. I accidentally hit R1. Stuck my stick out there. That could have been bad. I accidentally, you know, that's something I say a lot. I accidentally do things all the time to kind of mess up my game. Oh. Pass it out. Pass it out. Up, 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 up. Sherry's way up there. Come on, Sherry. Get it in there. And big glove save by Gibson. <laughs> Sherry and McCann both absolutely just jump on top of Gibson. So, wow, Henrique is leading the team at points with 35. That's the kind of season it's been for the Anaheim Ducks. Well, in real life, too, to a very large degree, I must say. So I haven't uh, uploaded uh, to Hands Down Hockey in a couple days. 
just because, man, there's just nothing to talk about. There's really not. And we've already gone through basically the same amount of time. How was the pass off that much? We basically already gone through the same amount of time as we would have if we would have had a regular off season through the summer. And during that time, that's when I would do the one-off videos, like best player in every Canadian province, which I did, and all kinds of other things. I started, I even talked about uh, the only Americans to ever win uh, the Hart Trophy and stuff like that. Just, just these random uh, topics. But there's only so much of that I can do. Um, and then I myself start to lose interest. You know, I mentioned this before. Oh, another great defensive play. I much prefer talking about current events and stuff like that, uh, opposed to just these random topics or doing redrafts like I've been seeing everybody else doing. Um, so I decided, well, okay, I'll concentrate on this. I'm, I'm having fun with it. So let, let's go with it and try to finish this off. Oh, I got a little whack at it as it rolled into Gibson there. So I'm just going to focus on this for a little bit, get the NHL 20 season finish. I know a lot of you are enjoying it. I'm enjoying playing through it. I just want to get to the playoffs already. It seems like it's uh, been more than 82 games at this point. Uh, I thought I had a good screenshot opportunity there. And again, Gibson says no. So look, this is a complete 180 already compared to the last game against LA. I was lighting Lack up, completely lighting him up. And what was strange is they left Lack in the whole game. I couldn't believe that we didn't see a goaltender change on part of LA that last game. And did somebody touch that puck? Because how was that not icing? Oh, yeah, that pass was a bit off for Crosby. But, oh, they're saying it wasn't icing. All right, let's do it. Oh, look at that. We got some puck luck there. We really did. Rodriguez buried it. Woo. Hmm. So we got Rodriguez with Crosby since uh, we had the Hornquist injury. And someone had commented, and I thought it was funny, that in this game, Hornquist is the real-life Chris Letang in my NHL 20 season because the joke is Chris Letang's always injured, which he is. He is always injured. Oh, 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 it was there. It was there. Oh, Gibson lays back and covers it. Wow, wow, wow. Almost a 2 to nothing hockey game there. So Hornquist comes back for his first game. It was against the LA Kings. And he didn't even make it through the full game. He fractured his elbow. Imagine that. Oh, man, I lit somebody up there right off the faceoff. Oof. I'm not even sure who I hit, but I absolutely demolished him. Wow. That was a big hit. Whoa, that was a bit scary of a pass for Gensel there. Over, over, over. Oh, and again, Lindholm. Come on, Lindholm. Carter Rowney, another former Penguin. Doesn't matter what team I'm playing against. I'm always going up against former Penguins. Oh, Oh, I was so close to getting that shot off. So shot seven to four. Not a lot of shots in this one. You know, defensively, Anaheim was very, very solid. But uh, time on attack, fairly even. So it's been a fairly even game. Yes, it has. I had a bit of puck luck on that Rodriguez goal. Really did. And I'm going to own up to it. I'm going to admit it. There was some puck luck there. I was not trying to make that play at the side of the net. I initially went for the shot. And it deflected right over there to Rodriguez. So it really worked out. Come on, Lindholm. Jeez, Lindholm. Oh, Raquel. You don't even know what day it is anymore after that one. Oh, get the shot off. <laughs> Crosby goes in and nails Gibson. Like, what are you doing? Sometimes the CPU makes really strange decisions when it's controlling your other four players on the ice. That was weird. Like, why go in there and do that? I mean, you're not going to get a penalty for it. You don't in this game. You can go in. Oh, you can go in and take liberties on the goalie and you never, ever get a penalty. But still, though, what, what's the point of it? I mean, in real life, you wouldn't do it. So why do it in the game? It's strange. All right. Come on. Oh. Dang. Man, defensively, the Ducks have been superb. Oh, we're in. We are in. We are in. Oh. I love going for that other side. And oh, who was that that I hit? Oh, Raquel got nailed back there. Oh, I nailed somebody else. Not that. Oh, okay. The hitting is really picking up in this game. This is getting very physical here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It was just laying there, and I got caught on the net with Zucker trying to get that puck. Oh, big hit. Big hit. Turnover. Oh, and again, defensively, they're just so sound. They're able to take that puck from me. 
Oh boy. Whoa, good thing Malkin was there. Because that could have been a goal. Oof. Oh, and it picked off by Milano. Come on, Raquel. Oh, try to light you up again. <laughs> oh, great toe drag by Milano there. Wow. What a move. What a move. Oh, big blast by Henrique. Come on. Don't take a penalty boarding him. Jeez, don't do that. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sherry. And again, I can't get the puck. Man, they got some solid pressure there. That was a good shift by the Ducks. Oh, and again, look at the back check. Sherwood, just a great, great defensive play. That was fantastic. Oh, I'm actually a bit shocked they didn't take a penalty on that one, though, because to me, he hooked me up a little bit. Not bad, bad, but a little bit. Look at Lindholm. Lindholm, you've been a thorn in my side this whole game, Lindholm. Oh, I nailed you once earlier. I'm going to try to again if I get an opportunity. Try to slow you down a little bit. Never want to injure anyone, though. But, and that's something else. I ha I think this whole NHL 20 season, I've only ever injured one player on a hit. Oh, and I don't remember who it was, but I remember I injured somebody. And for a while there, the CPU was injuring one of my guys every single game. Every game they were injuring someone. Oh, try to use defenseman as a screen. That didn't work out. Oh, nice block, nice block. Back to the point. Get it through. And again, block. He, Delore, he blocked two shots right there. Are you kidding? Oh, great defensive play. Just stuck with him the whole way. Up, 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 up. Marlowe's way up there. Come on, rifle it in. And a glove save by Gibson. Man, this game has had uh, a bit of everything. Offensive burst. But defensively, I can't get over the Ducks defense in this game. It's crazy. I can barely get anything through to the net. And how they're, they're just checking me, not giving me lanes, not giving me much space. And blocking shots. My goodness. It's so hard for me to get anything through. And then if I do, I got Gibson in there to deal with, who's absolutely no pushover at all. Come on. Oh, again, another block shot. Dang. Oh, that one made it through. That one made it through. But we didn't have anyone there for the rebound. Come on. Come on. Get around there. Get around there. Back. Oh, great deflection in front. Ah, Stan Reese picked it up and buried it. Woo-hoo. There it is. Woo. I had to work hard for that one. I really did. Wow. So the initial shot, deflection, yeah, Gibson got the first one, and then the rebound came out, and it looked like it went off of one of the Ducks defensemen, and then it came out to some open ice there, and Aston Reese was able to pick it up and bury it for the 2 to nothing lead, so that's huge. All right, Zucker. All right, Zucker. Back to the point. Over. Oh, oh, it was there. It was there. It was there. Back to the point. Oh, another big glove save by Gibson. Had a little bit of a cycle game going there. Maybe I shouldn't have tried the point shot with Schultz there, but it was hard not to because point shots were so successful against the LA Kings. I had so much success with the point shots. I kind of just naturally want to do it again here against Anaheim and hope for the best. And what kind of a pass was that? What the heck was that? I'm trying to go D to D. And he passes it out of the zone. Like, what? Look at that. He picked my pocket there. Jeez, if I had have tried that, I would have got a penalty. I guarantee I would have got a penalty. Ah, oh, man. All right. Up, up, up. There we go. Almost a suicide pass to Malkin there. Uh, I just tried to get it up ice as quick as possible. <laughs> Unleash a rocket, but didn't even have time. So time on attack is still fairly close. You know, hits. Yeah, hits are up. This has been a physical game. I got 17 shots now. So I'm not going to get, you know, to the 40, 40 plus like I did against L.A. Man, it was like L.A. just rolled over and died. And it was so funny because, you know, the game was tied for a little while against L.A. And then it seemed like as soon as I scored that go-ahead goal, L.A. just rolled over and said, all right, we're done here. You know, we're done. Oh, I didn't even realize I had the puck. That's terrible. Oh, my goodness. And now I iced the puck. Like, ah, uh, give him a little shove. But, yeah, didn't even realize I had the puck. Daydream, daydream. Maybe I'm trying to talk too much while I'm uh, while I'm playing here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Plus the other thing too, like um, the given that I probably should be talking about on hands down hockey is uh, how 
uh, all, you know, phase two and how there's, you know, 11 confirmed cases in and around the NHL right now. But again, everyone else is talking about that. Uh, I just hate to be a broken record, you know, and just talk about the same things over and over again. But at the same time, too, um, you have to remember, I don't like talking about players' personal lives. So say if somebody was confirmed with COVID-19. Okay, that sucks. It absolutely does. But it is not my place to talk about that person and now their current uh, you know, battle with that. Uh, I got no place to talk about that. That would be as if, you know, um, suddenly my medical history became public knowledge and people started talking about a potential health issue I have or if I'm currently battling an illness and it's out there and people are talking about it. I mean that, that that's not right you know there's things that are should stay private and uh, I'm kind of a private person I, I like to think I am and at the same time too um, you know I always like to just concentrate on talking about the game itself yeah, I was gonna say that has to be a penalty give me a break and the players professional careers like if I'm going to talk about the best centers the best wingers and and so on and so forth I'm not gonna talk about you know how maybe one of them's getting a divorce or so and so just had a kid and they named it this and I don't like the name and I mean come on no 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 I always do my best to leave their personal lives out of any video content that I do and I just focus on the actual game itself and their professional careers because their professional careers is what's in front of the camera you know what they do outside of the rink and everything else uh, I do not talk about it and I don't all oh, Fowler you got absolutely knit all oh, Malkin overskated it just a ha ha that should be a penalty it is ha ha we got a delayed penalty here boys let's go let's go oh yeah come on hook me hook me take another one take another one I dare you oh yeah just give it to him I want the five on three I have a five on three I think this is the first time ever I'm literally jumping on my couch I think this is the first time I'm ever getting a five on three in NHL 20 I am excited I am very excited, but sadly our top power play unit is off, but I have all the confidence in the world in these guys that are on the ice. What happened? What happened? Another penalty. A slash. To me? Please not me. It went to me. <coughs> oh, where's the slash? Where was the slash? I wasn't even controlling Evan Rodriguez there. So that makes me angry the cpu is controlling that player and the cpu goes and uh and takes a penalty and now we got a four on three which is odd you don't see that a lot um you know it makes me question a lot of things like you know hey skynet's real the cpu of your control players is purposely going to take a penalty so then it can give the full cpu controlled team a better opportunity to the CPU's taken over, man. Totally taken over. That's how you play them defensively. Ah, it's Lindholm again. Come on, Lindholm. Cough up that puck. Friggin' Lindholm. Look at this. Look at this. I don't think so. Positions, everybody. Ah, I took somebody out there. Come on, Pedersen. Skate it up, please. Thank you. Thank you. Over, over. Ah, Lindholm again. Defensively, Lindholm has been an absolute juggernaut in this game. Every defensive play that Lindholm is making has just been... Oh, Zucker, if you had a cut in there a little better, you could have totally picked that puck up inside the blue line, but you kind of skated away from it. I don't know what the heck you were thinking there. Ugh, sometimes the CPU makes some really bonehead decisions with your controlled guys. I guess it's up to me to switch to those players faster in order to correct that, I guess. Because I can't trust the CPU sometimes. I really can't. And right there, that was terrible. Because he could have had a full-on lane. Oh, my goodness. Pocket picked completely. Come on, Rodriguez. You're on my list now because you took a penalty. When we had a five-on-three... And what the heck is that? Absolutely took my guy out. 
Oh, I almost turned that puck over. Oh, I did. I did it that time. I did that time. Come on, Tanev. Get in there. Get in there. There's the puck. Oh, dang. How did that stay out? Oh, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So the tables have turned a little bit here. The CPU is taking some penalties. Good on them. <laughs> You know how many penalties the CPU needs to take in order to equal the amount of penalties and BS I've gone through? Ugh. I'd like to actually go back through every video and count all the penalties I've had up to this very point in time. I probably need two calculator screens combined in order to calculate a number of that magnitude. That's how many penalties I've had. It's just been nuts. So, oh yeah, as I was saying... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of going on about some different things here about hands down hockey that channel is never going anywhere uh, ever again but you know it's just, it's just hard right now to think of things to talk about especially too when you have so many uh, hockey YouTube channels now and you don't want to overlap others and you don't want to do a video topic that someone else may have even slightly touched on because you always want to do something that's unique to you um, it, it's more and more difficult with each passing day because there is no current news coming out all the time around the NHL uh, oh, oh where's that puck where's that puck oh I got another crack at it with Crosby there and again, Gibson says no. Man, if it wasn't for Gibson, I might add five, six goals in this one at this point. Gibson has made some absolutely big saves here for the Ducks. And oh, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that uh, for that puck to do that. That was really unexpected. Come on, Malkin. Come on, Malkin. Ah, pass it off. Oh, uh, Malkin got a crack at it too. Uh, you know, when I got that initial, that second shooting attempt, I was below the goal line. So it was either just try to bank it in off of him. But I think I hit the post. Um, man, oh man, that was close. That was close. We had some great opportunities here. Some great looks at the net. Oh, there was a heck of a shot. What a blocker saved by Gibson there. Wow. Now that's reflexes. Man, that probably would have been in the net for four to five seconds before my arm even flinched towards that puck. Uh, you know, I've been in goal a few times playing hockey with friends and stuff, and man, my reflexes aren't that good. <laughs> it's offside. Who was still in the zone? I didn't see anyone in there, unless someone was at the far side where I couldn't see them. I didn't. I didn't think anyone was still in the zone. That's why I advanced. Ah, oh, man. Oh well. Not so bad. We're back in already. We got the zone entry. Ah, oh, the shot. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh my goodness. How did that stay out? I don't know, oh, Marino, you turn right into that. Was that Lindholm again? Lindholm? Come on. Lindholm, you have been public enemy number one in this hockey game, Lindholm. Oh, the shot. There, come on, Gibson. <laughs> Is that McCann there swiping at it? I think McCann swiped at that like three times while Gibson had it held for the whistle. Jeez. Wasn't taking no prisoner. Oh, there's a hard shot. I think I hit my own man. Yeah, I totally hit my own man. I'm not sure who I hit in front there. I'm surprised that made it through. And all honesty, oh, tuck it in. Oh, and again, it says no. Oh, who did I hit there? Oh, Lindholm. Ha ha. You lost the puck. Oh, how did he stop that? Are you kidding? Wow, wow, wow. Like I said, if it. Look at. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. Come on, man. CPU controlled player, what are you doing? Like, that was terrible. As soon as I seen the guy go down, I said, yeah, that's going to be a penalty. And sure enough, it is. So funny because we basically, at one point, I thought, okay, we might go the whole game here and not get a penalty. But nope, that all ended. Look at that block by Tanev. Look at that block by Tanev. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Tanev. He's holding me. He's holding me. Look. He was totally holding me there. Come on, Sherwood. Come on, there we go. Imagine your last name being the same as uh, the company that makes the hockey sticks. Sure would, that'd be interesting. Eh? All right, so let's try to kill this off. We've got two minutes and four left in the third. Minute 11 on the man advantage for the Ducks. We're in good shape, we're in good shape. We're up by two. We're just gonna try, oh, who was that that jumped? Was that Aston Reese? Yeah, oh man, I nailed somebody there. Didn't catch the name. 
Just saw the player, decided to go in for the hit, and it's offside. That helps me if it's offside. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And, you know, a lot of people get into uh, to YouTube for, well, they think, oh, okay, well, maybe on YouTube I can become famous, and maybe on YouTube I can make uh, a lot of money, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, okay, all great reasons and whatnot. But, you know, if for me, if it was about money, I would be uploading to Hands Down Hockey every single day, multiple times a day if I could. I would just be non-stop, non-stop if it was about the money. It's not about the money. It's really not. It's just about enjoying what you're doing, having fun. Uh, that That's what it's all about. And right now, I'm enjoying this, and I'm having so much fun with this. I want to just keep going with this for now. But, you know, once hockey picks up, if it picks up, if, it's a big if at this point, because as long as these cases keep continuing in and around the NHL, how, how are they ever going to start? How are they ever going to uh, open training camps and everything else? I just don't see how it would ever work out. Um, <laughs> it went in so slow. Oh my goodness. So Bugstad puts the dagger on this one. And it's now three to nothing after they pulled the goalie. But I just don't see it. And if these cases continue, it's just not going to happen. Uh, you know, Tampa closed down their training facility because of it. And we're now at the point where... Uh, you know, we're still a long ways away from training camps and the NHL is dealing with numbers right now for COVID-19. So if it continues, how in the heck are they ever going to open it up and do anything uh, if it just continually persists? It's just not going to happen. Absolutely not. And right now, if somebody had to say, OK, I want you to put some money on if you think the NHL season is actually going to happen or not. Well, in all honesty, if I were to put money on it right now, I'd put money on saying it's not going to happen because I just don't see it changing in a positive direction soon enough at this point uh, before the training camps open. And I mean, they're opening up just for practice facilities and the COVID-19 numbers are going up in and around the NHL. Now, that's not training camps. That's not the playoffs. That's nothing. That's just training facilities to the point that not even every player is present and you're having an issue so i just don't see how it's going to happen wow there i said earlier in the game yeah i don't see myself getting 40 or 40 plus shots but to be honest once i got that second goal and i'm kind of rolled over a little bit they pulled an la and suddenly i started running away with it so now i ask this question again why were the two games against toronto so insanely difficult and the last game against la and this one against anaheim were just insanely simple <gasps> excuse me Outside of touching the penalty sliders, I didn't touch anything else going into these games. And suddenly, everything's completely different. And yeah, I absolutely would give the first star to John Gibson there. Uh, I fully agree with that. Even though Anaheim lost the game, if it wasn't for Gibson, I probably would have had eight or nine goals in this one. He was fantastic. So this was a back-to-back -back situation for me. Uh, this one was against Anaheim, and then the next one was San Jose. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, against San Jose. Now, I had a little bit of difficulty against the San Jose Sharks the last time I played them. So, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's see how Marlowe does against his former team. So, I'm 7-2-1 in my last 10. Looking good. Sharks are 6-4-0. Um, does that give me 98 points on the season, or is that 100 points? 100 points on the season. There we go. Next closest team, the Metropolitans, Philadelphia Flyers at 77. So I got a heck of a spread there. That's fantastic. It's looking like I'm going to win the division. Uh, maybe win the President's Trophy. Very possible. The Leafs are at 83 points. Flyers, 77. Uh, okay, Pacific is led by the Oilers at 81. Who's leading the Central Avalanche at 83? So, yeah, if, if I can hold this momentum going through the final games here, I can definitely win the President's Trophy and secure myself home ice throughout the entire playoffs should I go on a deep playoff run. We'll see. But regardless, guys, I'm gonna just going to keep hammering these out. As soon as I get free time every day, I'm going to go forward and play one of these games and get 
through them and get to the playoffs because that's where the real fun's going to start. I'm going to be on the edge of my seat throughout the whole thing. Probably be sweating, stressed to high heaven because I know when I'm watching the real playoffs unfold in the NHL, I am stressed to the max. And especially, especially if Pittsburgh makes it to the Stanley Cup final. Like in 08, 09, 16, 17. Oh my goodness. I was just on the edge of my seat. Part of me also wants to say 91, 92. But uh, I was so young. I mean, I remember it. Yes, I remember Pittsburgh winning the Cup in 91-92. I remember Montreal winning in 93. Edmonton winning in 90. Calgary winning in 89. Yeah, I remember all that. But I'm still young. It's just not as clear as uh, 08 when they lost to Detroit. 09 when Pittsburgh won the Cup in 16-17. I mean, it just feels like yesterday for those because I was older and definitely retained it more but anyway i've blabbered long enough i hope you guys enjoyed that and of course san jose's up next hopefully i'll get a chance uh, to do that later today i'm not entirely sure it all comes down to when i get free time so you gotta remember too i do work full time i'm working from home right now due to the pandemic uh and of course that's where a lot of focus goes so as always you can give me a follow on twitter at justin the man 87 make sure to subscribe join the channel this is hands down the place to be if you're an nhl 20 hockey or gaming fan like me. Cheers all.